Hey guys, um, just doing a video here of a uh, of my old server that I just uh, decommissioned. It is a uh, compact ProLiant DL380, as it's noted over here. But it uh, had six 18.2 gig Ultra 3, Ultra Wide 320 SCSI drives, all hot swappable, of course. And uh, I had these in a RAID 5. This uh, server was running uh, Windows 2003, small business server with uh, Exchange 2003. Uh, it comes with the package with the small business server. And uh, <clears throat> I had it running uh, 2003 for uh, about two years. Originally, uh, I ran Fedora. 6 on the server when I purchased this back in 2007. I purchased it as a lease off and I actually paid more for this one than I did the one that I have now. So basically this thing was pretty dirty. I actually got the compressor out to uh, blow it out a bit but uh, as you can see the inside uh, the RAM it has five gigs of RAM on board and uh, I had actually <clears throat> originally this server came with a gig of RAM and I added four more gigs of RAM to give it five I uh, found this RAM on eBay for $25 and so I snapped it up because I was running uh, I had another combination of chips out here uh, from other servers that I had so I had like two gigs of RAM that I was able to get it up to for the Windows 2003 but then uh, I put in five I put in four more gigs which unfortunately 32-bit and small business version you can't use a uh, you know the PAE extension to allocate more RAM in a 32-bit environment on the small business edition version of Windows so I was stuck to, I think it was like 3.25 or 3.75 usable gigs of RAM. Um, it's got the uh, hot swappable fans. Uh, I blew these out a lot. They were really nasty. And um, underneath here is uh, where the processors are. It has this little baffle. What it does is it actually these two fans channel the air across the processors. And... Uh, then you got the uh, power supply. Well, the power supplies are here. There's two redundant power supplies. Okay, but this is actually uh, um, part of that. Uh, I think it's like a power switching, or I'm not too familiar with this particular setup of power supplies. Uh, you know, you got your heat sink on there. So I'm assuming that these two work together and then that provides the voltages for the motherboard obviously at this 20 pin connector 16 pin connector oh, that might be hmm, interesting anyways uh, you uh, also I uh, this server this particular server when I bought it, it was supposed to have dual processors but it didn't it didn't come with a second processor so I was given the second processor and also you can tell that these voltage regulators just slide in like uh, the memory does and uh, so I had to add a voltage regulator to this as well so I can run the second processor over here it has the uh, PCI expansion slots and on top of this these are also hot swappable PCI uh, slots PCI 64-bit slots I'm probably get in there there you go um, I know that some cards weren't compatible of being hot swapped out um, I never actually really tried hot swapping a card I just put one in there and you know shut it down and put one in there I've always done things that way so I uh, the server had been like I said running for two years and um, the only time I really ever shut it down, I did many reboots, but no complete power downs, um, was to put in the RAM. 
Before, uh, I, I always owned the Service since 2007, but I ended up with a uh, Dell Power Edge 2450 for a little while. And that was my first 2003 server. And then I, went, I moved it to this one. And this one seemed like it would have more horsepower, but the problem was is underneath here, and I'm gonna, I'll just lift this cage out if I can. Well, underneath here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that real well, but that's the RAID card, and that's only 32 megs of RAID, which was a lot slower booting up and disk access time than my Power Edge 2450, which had 128 megs of RAID, or RAM on the RAID. So, I'm going to get this uh, server cleaned up, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, uh, whether I'm going to turn it into a firewall or if I'm going to... Um, you know, maybe uh, do another 2003 server on it, maybe put it in a co-location. Not sure yet. So, anyways, this is it. Uh, this server also came, just wanted to let you guys know, uh, the specs on this originally were two uh, Pentium 3 1.266 processors, 512 megs of RAM, this was the original specs and I believe it just came with whatever the amount of drives that came in it I don't know exactly how many drives originally this came with it uh, so it is an Intel board uh, because back then HP I don't think was going with the AMD until later on with the Optrons but anyways here it is uh, the, comp the HP Compact ProLiant DL380 generation 2 see ya